Hi, my name is Michaela, and I'm getting baptized today, and this is my testimony. I was raised in a Christian home, but I had watered down faith until recently. I grew up watching my mother spend her mornings with God, but little did she know she was planting seeds in my heart that would later on transform my life. For many years, I thought I knew God. I attended church on the holidays, and I thought I was living a good life, but I was lost. I chased love and acceptance in broken and abusive relationships, and I ran from encountering God on a real level. I ran all the way to Wisconsin, where I started going to college, and I built a life as far away from God as I could. But God chased me down, and He brought me back home. Because of the pandemic, I moved back home to California to live with my mom. I started attending First Baptist regularly online, and then under the oak tree once our world started opening back up. Then the world threw me for a loop. In August of 2020, I was drugged and sexually assaulted by a close family friend. I entered the darkest period of my life. My anxiety and panic attacks reached an all-time high. The PTSD was taking over my life. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't leave my home alone. I couldn't function. Then God showed up. I started attending a backyard gathering at Pastor Danny's house in April 2021. And God sent me an army of angels to guide me back to Him. After some months, I shared with that group everything that I had been struggling with. And that night, they laid hands on me and prayed over me, and it felt like I was breathing again for the first time since the assault. I started therapy. I started lay counseling here. I started pursuing God in a real way that I never had before. God met me in the middle of that fire, and He guided me back to safety. God healed me from depression, anxiety, and PTSD, medication-free. The enemy tried to attack me from every direction possible, but God used it all to bring His daughter back home, to bring me back into a loving church, and to bring me back into His loving arms again. God used it all for His glory. It is only by His love and His grace that I am alive and free today. To anyone wondering about baptism, my advice is to do it now. I allowed fear to hold me captive for years from getting baptized. So take that leap of faith and don't allow fear to stop you for years like I did it to me. All you have to do is believe and surrender.